University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Tonight, we test the mettle of two more student teams, both of them hoping to shine in front of their families and friends, who will doubtless be very forgiving, and in front of millions of taxpayers who may be rather more judgmental. At stake is a place among the 16 teams who will compete in the second round. The University of Dundee traces its origins to the late 19th century and a donation from a local Baxter family who made their fortune in jute, for which, along with jam and journalism, the city has long been famous. It received its royal charter somewhat later, in 1967, and notable alumni include the comedian Fred McCauley, the broadcaster John Suchet, the politician George Robertson, and the novelist Kate Atkinson. Dundee won this competition back in 1983, and tonight's team, with an average age of 22, is playing on behalf of around 16,000 students. Let's meet the Dundee team. Hello, my name is Connor Phillip. I'm from Dunfermline, and I'm studying anatomy. Hi, I'm Olivia Russell. I'm from Dundee, and I'm studying pharmacology. This is their captain. Hi, my name is Barnaby Estonia. I'm originally from Winchester, and I'm studying for a PhD in microbiology. Hello, I'm Jacob Sparrell. I'm from Milton Keynes, and I'm studying medicine. The Royal Northern College of Music is a conservatoire making a rare appearance in this competition, founded in Manchester in 1973 through the merger of earlier schools of music. Its alumni include the former master of the Queen's music, Sir Peter Maxwell Davis, the composer Sir Harrison Birtwistle, the pop musician Howard Jones, and the mezzo-soprano Rosalind Plowright, representing 880 students and with an average age of 24. Let's meet the RNCM team. Hi, I'm Keelan Carew. I'm from Medway, Kent, and I study classical piano. Hi, I'm Dominic Wills. I'm from Cambridgeshire, and I study composition. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Leela Crisp. I'm originally from London and I'm doing a master's in vocal studies and opera. Hi, my name's Alex Robarts. I'm from Hertfordshire and I'm studying for a postgraduate diploma in vocal studies and opera. Right, let's just get on with it then. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. Meanings of what four letter word include in pristine condition the plant family, also known as the dead nettle or sage, that includes many culinary herbs, colloquially, a large amount of money, and more formally, a place where... Dundee Philip. Mint. Mint is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Dundee, the first of the competition tonight, are on ancestors of the present Duke of Cambridge. Through the direct male line, the Duke of Cambridge's paternal great-great-grandfather is George I, the king of what country until his death in 1913? Uh, is it... Is it someone like Greece? Because it's through the paternal line? I think it could Actually, be Greece, yeah. yeah. Is it Greece? It is Greece, yes. The father of George I of Greece, Christian IX, was the king of what other European country between 1863 and 1906? I think this could be um, Norway. There was definitely a Christian of Norway. Yeah, it sounds okay, cool. Are we happy yeah. with that? Is it Norway? No, it's not. It's Denmark. OK. Who was both the Duke of Cambridge's father's father's mother's 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 mother and his father's mother's father's 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 mother? I think this is Victoria. I okay. guess both sides of the family. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Is it Queen Victoria? It is Queen Victoria. Who said they were in break? <laughs> right, ten points for this. Directed by Bong Joon Ho, which 2019 black comedy? Dundee Sparrow. Parasite. Parasite is correct. <laughs> you get three questions on partnerships between screenwriters and directors. The collaborations of the screenwriter Amy Jump and her husband, the director Ben Wheatley, include which film of 2015, based on a novel by J.G. Ballard and set in a luxury tower block? Um, is this the Great Budapest Hotel? Or what it's called? No, because that's uh, It's a high rise. There was high rise with Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. I'm fairly sure that came out around that time. Yeah, that sounds I'm not sure. So, high rise? I'd go high rise. Okay. High rise? High rise is correct. 
Which British screenwriter is known for her work with the director Matthew Vaughan, which includes Stardust, Kick-Ass and the Kingsman film series? Which don't have you have any turn edges in the other day? I don't know. I don't know either. No I'm idea, sorry. Like I don't remember his name, I'm okay. sorry. We don't know. That's Jane Goldman. Which British director frequently collaborates with his brother as screenwriter? Their films together include The Prestige and Interstellar. Is it like the Russo brothers? <laughs> it could be, I have no idea. Russo? Go for it. Is it Russo? No, it's not. It's Christopher Nolan. Okay. Ten points for this. Amur, Siberian Brown and Norway uh, are among species... Orange CM Wills. Tiger. No, you lose five points. Are among species of what small rodent of northern latitudes? The migratory behaviour of the Norway species gives rise to an expression meaning a collection of mindless people moved by a common purpose. Andy Sparrow. Lemming. Lemming is correct, yes. <laughs> Your questions are on art in the 1520s. The panel painting The Four Apostles, completed in 1526, was the last major work of which artist of the German Renaissance? He died two years later. I don't know this. I was thinking, like... I was thinking Dürer, maybe, but I really don't know. Yeah, I don't go, yeah. go with that. <laughs> is it Albrecht Dürer? It is. The death of Raphael in 1520 is sometimes given as the emerging point of what style in European art, often characterised by distortion in form and perspective and an unusual use of light. Like Impressionism? Yeah, Impressionism. Yeah. Wait. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Impressionism? No, it's Mannerism. OK. Bacchus and Ariadne in the National Gallery in London is a work of the early 1520s by which Venetian artist? I mean, the only Venetian I know is Titian, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. yeah. Is it Titian? It is Titian, yes. <laughs> We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a map of the contiguous United States. Ten points if you can name the major city marked. Dundee, Estonia. Oklahoma City. That is Oklahoma City, yes. <laughs> According to the 2010 US Census, Oklahoma City is the largest U.S. city by land area, discounting consolidated city counties. The city in itself is similar in size to the whole Greater London area. For your bonuses, three more U.S. cities with a footprint of over 300 square miles. Firstly, name the city at A, slightly larger than Greater Manchester. That's... That's... Is that our it's, it's Arizona, so it's either yeah. Phoenix or Tucson. I think Phoenix is yeah. bigger. Yeah, Phoenix is bigger. Is it Phoenix? It is Phoenix, yes. Secondly, the city at B, which is slightly smaller than the West Midlands metropolitan county. So that's on the edge of Tennessee. Yeah. Is it? So I guess either Memphis or Nashville. Nashville. Yeah, Nashville. You think it's Nashville? Yeah. Is it Nashville? No, it's not. It's Memphis. Okay. And finally, the city at C, similar in size to South Yorkshire. So is it Dallas? Or is it Euston? Uh, Euston is on the coast, definitely, so I think it's more likely to be Euston. OK. Yep. Yeah, go on. Is it Houston? It is Houston, yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. Of uncertain derivation, what name for a string and trumpet ensemble comprises words meaning dark planes on the surface of the moon and the Greek letter in the form of an X? It is classified by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage of Mexico. Uh, or in CM Wills. Mariachi. Mariachi is correct. Well done. <laughs> They're an infernal nuisance if you're ever there. <laughs> Three questions on medicine. In the 1930s, Carl Landsteiner and Alexander Wiener injected rabbits with the blood of what species of primate discovering an antigen also present in the red blood cells of some humans. Chimpanzee, maybe? Yeah. 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 Chimpanzee? No, they're rhesus monkeys. The most important rhesus antigen tested for in blood group classification is represented by what letter? O. Oh, yeah. 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 It's much common. O? No, it's D. Rh antigens may be involved in the harmful condition known as hemolysis, meaning the dissolution of RBCs. For what do the letters RBC Red stand? Blood cells. Red blood cells. Red blood cells is correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. 
The winner of a Tony Award in 2017, What Play by J.T. Rogers, is based on the story behind the peace accord of 1993. The play's title is the name of the Nordic capital where the accord was made. RNCM Carew. Oslo. Oslo is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on football in Poland. <laughs> Firstly, the name of which former royal dynasty appears in that of the football club from Gliwice in Silesia that won the Polish top flight in 2019? Do we know? <laughs> Habsburg. Uh... Um, Polish. Yeah, do Habsburg, maybe. OK, Habsburg? No, it's Piast. Which club won the Polish Cup for the first time in 2020? Its name is the Latin name of the major city in which it's based. Krakow. Um, What's the Latin name? Um, Warsaw. <laughs> I know that you're Warsaw, but it's not going to be that. Um, FC Krakow. You've got the right city, it's Krakowia. In 2020, which club from the Polish capital became top flight champions for the 14th time? I need a two word name here. Legia Warsaw. Uh, nominate Robots. Legia Warsaw. Legia Warsaw is correct, yes. <laughs> right, 10 points for this. Guarani is a national language spoken by the majority of the population of which country? Dante Sparrow. Paraguay. Paraguay is correct, well done. Right, these bonuses are on the sciences. What two-word term was introduced in 1989 for hypothetical nuclear reactions that do not require a high initial temperature? Attempts to replicate such reactions have been unsuccessful. Is this just low-temperature fusion? I don't know. I don't have a clue. Go for it. Yeah. Low-temperature fusion? No, it's cold fusion. Okay. We did ask for a two-word term oh, okay. and you gave a three-word term. OK, sorry. Astrophysics uses the abbreviation CDM for the universal material that is assumed to exist with little or zero relative velocity under the standard cosmological model. CDM stands for cold what? Dark matter? Yeah. Or is it dense matter? I don't know. It could be... I think it's dark matter. Well, yeah. Dark yeah. matter. Cold dark matter? Yes, that's correct. Cold dark matter. With a Greek prefix meaning variegated or varied, what adjective contrasts with the term homeothermic and is used for organisms described informally as cold-blooded? Just ectothermic. Ecto, ectothermic, yeah. Either ectothermic. No, ecto is outside, so I think heterothermic. Yeah. 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 Heterothermic? No, it's poikilothermal. Okay. Ten points for this. I need a one-word name here. Beethoven's Piano Sonata Number 21 in C Major was dedicated... RNCM Carew. Waldstein. Waldstein is correct. <laughs> right, you get a set of bonuses, this time on the year 1666. <laughs> on the 4th of June, 1666, the Théâtre du Palais Royal in Paris premiered The Misanthrope by which playwright, also known for Tartuffe and Don Juan? Racine or Molière? Molière I think it's Molière. Molière. Yeah. Molière. Molière is correct. The St James's Day Battle of August the 4th, 1666, saw a victory for the English fleet over that of which rival power? Spanish. Um, Spain, Portugal. Yeah. Um, Spanish. Yeah, Spain. No, it's the Dutch. Mm. 1666 saw the foundation of what university near Malmo in southern Sweden? It is one of the oldest in the Nordic countries. It's Trondheim. Is that got a universe? That's North. Mm. That's, North. That's really in Norway. Um, is, oh, I, is Malmö not North? Oh, yeah. Yeah, OK. University of Trondheim? No, it's Lund University. Mm. Right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music start, you're going to hear the theme music to a television programme. For ten points, please give me the programme's title. Are in CM Carew. Stranger Things. Stranger Things is right, yes. <laughs> that pays homage, that track, to the electronic synthesizer scores of the retro adventure and science fiction films and programmes that influenced it. For your bonuses, you'll hear clips from three more retro synthesizer scores from film and television. Five points for each you can identify. <laughs> Firstly, this television programme first broadcast in 1990. What's that? 
could be Twin Peaks. Yeah. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, 1990s, the 90s. That's the right time. Do we have any Twin Peaks? It is Twin Peaks, yes. Yeah. Secondly, this 1979 action film. Rambo? No, it's Assault on Precinct 13. Finally, this 1982 film. It's Blade Runner, isn't it? Okay. Blade Runner? It is Blade Runner, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Named after an English astronomer, the Evershed effect is an outward flow of gas at speeds of up to two kilometres per second in the penumbra of what solar features? Dundee Estonia. Solar flares. Anyone want to buzz from... RNCM robots. Comets. No, they're sunspots. Ten points for this. Meaning circle of the sun, the word he no maru is used in what country to describe both the simple dish of a pickled plum on a bed of plain rice? RNCM robots. Japan. Japan is correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses this time are on a year in video games. 1991 saw the release of the first in which long-running series of strategy games in which players build an empire across several millennia. I need a single word title which is often preceded by the name of its creator, Sid Meier. Civilization. Civilization. Correct. Which influential instalment in the Legend of Zelda series was first released in 1991? It was the first to feature a structural device that is now a series trademark, with gameplay moving between the two parallel worlds. I need a five-word title. A Link to the Past, I think. Yeah, A Link to the Past? Correct. June of the same year also saw the release of the first Sonic the Hedgehog game on which game console? Um. Game Boy? Atari or Sega? Sega Genesis? Um, um, Sega it's not Genesis, a Nintendo right? console. It's not, not a Nintendo, Nintendo. Sega. No. Um, Sega? Yeah. Sega. Sega, go on, let's hear the whole Sega thing. Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. That's correct, or Sega Mega Drive, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who'd have thought time wasted could be so useful? Answer promptly. Of the countries that lie entirely in the Southern Hemisphere, which has a land area closest to that of the UK? Dundee Russell. Madagascar? No. Uh, RNCM Wills. Uruguay? No. It's New Zealand, so ten points at stake for this. Give the precise four-word title of the first chapter of the 1997 work Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, RNCM Crisp. The Boy Who Lived. The Boy Who Lived is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on the coast of Great Britain. In each case, name the most populous town that lies on the coast between the two named locations. Firstly, Paynton and Tainmouth. Agatha Christie was born there in 1890. Do we know? I don't even know where those are at all. Um, that South Coast? I don't... Yeah, I, was, yeah, I think maybe. Agatha Christie is South Coast, but... So somewhere sort of southwest? Plymouth. Um, Plymouth, yeah. Yeah. Plymouth? No, it's Torquay. Mm. Right. Aberdeen, secondly, and Fraserburgh. The town's football club was promoted to Scottish League One in 2019. Inverness? Mm. Dundee. Mm. <laughs> Dundee. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh. Do you know? No. Inverness? No, it's Peter Head. Finally, Whitby and Bridlington. The town is associated with the playwright Alan Aikbourne. Oh, Whitby. Fine, the Filey, I think. Filey, I think. Is it what in East Coast Yorkshire? Yeah, um, I think that's Bridlington and Whitby. Okay, okay. Yeah. nominate Wills. Filey. No, it's Scarborough. Oh, Scarborough, of course it is. Ten points for this. In chemistry, what is the maximum number of hydrogen atoms that can combine with an atom of nitrogen in a neutral molecule? Dante Spiral. Three. Three is correct. 
you've already taken the lead, and your bonuses are on ancient Rome. In each case, name the emperor during whose reign the following occurred. First, the conquest of Dacia and the death of the author Pliny the Younger. So, was it Pliny the Younger or older that was Vesuvius? It was the older. Okay, yeah. so pre that. But post that, right? Come on. Yeah. It's Nero. <laughs> yeah. Is it Nero? No, it's Trajan. Secondly, the revolt of Queen Boudicca in Britain and the death of the author Seneca the Younger. Oh, so Seneca was around with Nero. This Could this one might, be Nero? This might be Nero. Yeah. Okay. Nero? Nero is correct. The death of the poet Virgil and the loss of the three legions at the Teutoburg Forest in Germany. Okay, this one's not Nero. <laughs> no. You know that? It's Basil, <laughs> Could be, I, yeah, I don't know. Yes, yes, Vespasian. No, it's Augustus. We're going to take a second picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a still from a film. For 10 points, give the film's title. Uh, RNCM Carew. Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy. That is correct. Well done. <laughs> we follow on from the 2011 version of Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy, with picture bonuses being three more film and television adaptations of works by John le Carre. Give the title in each case. Firstly... OK. Do we know any John le Carre? I think it was Scooby. Yeah. The only one I know. I mean, the spy came in from the cold, but... Spy came in from... Yeah. Spy... It's the spy who came in from the cold? It is, yes. <laughs> Secondly... That's Ralph Fiennes, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the English Patient? It's not. Oh. It's not John yeah. yeah. um, Pass. That's The Constant Gardener. And finally... That's, oh, that's the, night, the Night Watchman. Yeah. The, the Night, night Manager. Uh, yeah, The Night Manager. Batman. The Night Manager is correct, yes. Not The Night Watchman. <laughs> it's getting more relevant. Right, ten points for this. What two letters begin Italian words for all of the following? Groan or moan, twins, chalk, January, and ice cream. Dante Estonia. GE. GE is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on physics. If a nucleus of the isotope lead 214 undergoes two beta minus decays followed by alpha decay, what isotope is the result? Two, three. Well, what do you think? Um, 208. Yeah, the, the, 208. Okay. Yeah. We led 208. If it loses an alpha, that means it changes element. Okay. So it's not led anymore. Okay. So what is that? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the song. Come on. Just say led 208. I'm sorry. Led 208. No, it's led 210. What six letter term denotes nuclei that are identical in proton and neutron number but have different excitation energies? Isotrope? I think it could be that, yeah. Isotrope? No, it's isomer. When one isomer decays to another, what form of radiation is emitted? If it's changing, it's going to be alpha. I think so, yeah. Alpha? No, it's gamma. Ten points at stake for this. Which literary work is described as the tragedy of a man who could not make up his mind in the opening words of a film of 1948 directed by Laurence Olivier? Dante Estonia. Is it Hamlet? It is Hamlet, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the Women's Prize for Fiction. In each case, name the author of the following. Firstly, the US author of the 2009 winner, Home a companion to the author's earlier novel, Gilead. This wasn't on next list. Don't know, clue. Mm. No, we don't know. Pass. That was Marilyn Robinson. The British author of the 2008 winner, The Road Home. Her other works include The Darkness of Wallace Simpson and other stories. No. <laughs> no. We don't know. That's Rose Tremaine. And finally, born in Karachi, who wrote the 2018 winner, Home Fire? Her other works include Burnt Shadows and Cartography. No, I don't no. know. No, we don't know this one. That's Camilla Shamsi. Ten points for this. Which two neighbouring South Asian countries celebrate their independence days one day apart on the 14th and 15th of August, despite... The Sparrow! India and Pakistan? 
India and Pakistan is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on places that have given their names to schools of thought. Which English university has given its name to a contextualist school of intellectual history? Notable members include J.G.A. Pocock and Quentin Skinner. Is that Manchester? <laughs> Could be. Could just, yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, schools. Yeah. Birmingham School? <laughs> yeah, I think probably just either Manchester or Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. Is it Manchester? No, it's Cambridge. Which country gives its name to a school of economic thought that emphasises the importance of utility in determining the value of a product? I think this is Austria. Notable members include the Nobel Prize winner Friedrich Hayek. Yeah, this is Austria. Yeah. 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 Austria. Austria is correct. Which German city has given its name to a school of social theory and philosophy? Its notable members include Jürgen Habermas and Theodor Adorno. Frankfurt or Munich? I think it could be Frankfurt, yeah. I think yeah. it's Frankfurt. I think it's Frankfurt, yeah. Okay. Frankfurt? It is correct, yes. <laughs> well done. Another starter question. Found throughout North Africa and the Middle East, trees of the species Phoenix dactylifera yield what fruit, varieties being the dried and processed deglet, nur and the medjool? Uh, RNCM Rabat. Date. Date is correct. <laughs> Right, here are your bonuses. The lead scientist behind the Soviet Union's first hydrogen bomb. Which physicist became an advocate of disarmament and human rights and won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1975? Sakharov. Do you mean anything else? Sakharov? Sakharov is correct. The satirical life and extraordinary adventures of private Ivan Chonkin and the dystopian Moscow 2042 are works by which novelist Exiled to Munich in 1980. He died in 2018. Um, Solzhenitsyn? Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Solzhenitsyn, you mean? Sol yeah, yeah, Solzhenitsyn. Yeah. Solzhenitsyn. That was Voinovich. Who brought widespread attention to the Soviet Union's vast system of penal labour camps? Solzhenitsyn. It was Solzhenitsyn, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Since 2010, Catriona Matthew and Alison Nichols have been the winning <laughs> European captains. And at the goal... The Royal Northern College of Music have 135, with Dundee University have 145. So we declare you the winners, Dundee. 135, though, Royal Northern College of Music may well be enough to come back as one of the highest scoring losing teams. Congratulations to you, and congratulations to you, Dundee. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match, but until then, it's goodbye from the Royal Northern College of Music. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Dundee University. Goodbye. 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 And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.